Hey there guys, Kurudinji here, once again bringing you the worst of the VTuber community. And of course, once again, everything happened on Twitter. Today we have a very peculiar case of a VTuber claiming they were violated because someone drew not safe work of them without their permission. However, looking deeper into this, it seems things aren't all that clear cut. So let's get right into it. Gia de, de Brat, I feel so violated. Please ask, always ask the person for consent before making commissioning not safe for art, art with them. It, it especially makes me uncomfortable when I don't know, know you and we're strangers. I'm just curious, but why did you delete your comment on their post? Now, it's feeling as if they're forced the not safe for work art on you and they're getting flack because of it. It's okay to change your mind, but acting like they're the bad person for this isn't. As you can see, we're already getting into something very interesting. Uh, this particular VTuber, and by uh, particular I mean Gia, she went into an artist thread and the artists uh, themselves say they will be drawing characters uh, uh, getting uh, getting into sexual situations, let's say, uh, uh, with their particular OC. So the artist has been asking for people to post their own OCs so they can uh, make fun art out of it. This is the thread of the artist called Brave Bengal. Hey guys, if you don't want me to draw your character, uh, character getting digged down after you submitted them, to be drawn getting digged down, then remove your comment from this post uh, now instead of, uh, of after I've drawn it and getting me in trouble, thanks. This is already after they've got into uh, trouble for getting uh, for drawing the art. Give me your RC so I can draw them getting railed by mine. I didn't follow them and I didn't see any tweets. They submitted their character, I drew the, uh, I drew the character and then I came back to a bunch of strangers reporting me for sexual assault. They asked me a few minutes ago to take it down, and I did, I did, but no one told me anything beforehand. If that's the case, I apologize. False accusations are just as bad. Appreciate it, homie. My guess is she thought it, it was a giveaway of sorts, so, uh, and that they would DM for permission before just drawing it. I don't think Gia would accuse someone for no reason. I mean, look at the post uh, she commented on. That's a bit weird to think. It's a giveaway when it says uh, clear as day. And as Itsuer here uh, uh, precisely mentions, the thread directly states that the characters are going to be railed getting into a sexual situation uh, with the artist's very own OC. So there's very little room to misinterpret this thing. I guess it's just a guess. Ever since I uh, since I've I've heard Gia has been nothing but a sweetheart, and I really doubt she would just turn on someone for no reason. There must be some reason why she just uh, she's upset about it. She might not want to talk about it, and uh, she asked the artist to delete it, and they did without question. But now, the least she could do is delete her own post and make make an apology to the artist. Like I like I said, she might not want to talk about it, just from the wording, the post, she seems genuinely upset, so bringing it up uh, more probably isn't helping. I'm not disagreeing with you, maybe she will make an apology, but for now I'm just gonna be here for her. Oh, and I, oh, I'm not dismissing her being upset in the slightest, I just feels extremely unfair when the artist is being reported and harassed for it, despite removing it promptly, uh, it promptly like they were asked to. I don't think Gia intended for people to harass them, I think she was just venting, but yeah, I guess uh, I get what you're saying. Even if you don't want to talk about something which, which I understand, there are still consequences of your actions. You reap what you sow, and it? I'm not dismissing that. She might address, address it when she's ready, but something clearly really upset her. I don't think questioning her on her actions is helpful right now. The artist is getting reported for sexual harassment. I, I'd say uh, clearing their name takes priority here before they get uh, Twitter bullied. Bro, I'm not disagreeing. Another example of VTuber not telling, their, uh, telling the entire side of the story and everyone just immediately jumping to their aid. White knighting before attacking someone, which you shouldn't really, uh, really be doing anyway. 
I'm sure it wasn't malicious, but but it's the effect of not saying everything. Exactly that. And, and this comment isn't to dismiss what they're feeling, but again, it just makes it, uh, it seems like the artist was being forceful about it. Exactly. Best thing here would be to clarify and explain the full story to stop any unnecessary hate being sent to the artist uh, who didn't know anything and, and thought he had full consent. Please don't make not surf record art with me with, without my consent. I always ask for consent, especially if you don't know you personally. Our model models are still us. Please and thank you. I agreed. The, uh, all of that is a is a problem because Gia here. It's been a whole twelve hours as the, of the making of this video, and Gia here hasn't made any follow up posts, even though the artists themselves have already deleted the artwork in question. But since then, Gia hasn't been really doing much in order to clear the artist's name or to clarify this situation. She's just been answering uh, to random Twitter posts and uh, still, you might say, playing up the victimhood of the situation. It's quite difficult to comprehend what her intentions here were exactly. Ver very weird of you to claim someone was making unsolicited loads of your OC when you submitted your OC to be loaded in their uh, in their free load art thread. Then retroactively took back consent after the art was made without clearing up what you asked for it. But free clout, I guess. Shit, the artist is dealing with people take, uh, thinking this is something serious when it, will, when it was all done consensually. And after the time was uh, wasted to draw the art, the request was heard and the art was removed without a fuss. Just let the artist get shit get shit for it though here's a uh, bengal once more uh, explaining the situation can't believe anyone will want to back out though shakes my head i'm cool with people wanting to back out i, I would prefer a, a heads up instead of having a bunch of dudes reporting me for sexual assault or whatever lol i can't believe they get mad about something like this they should be thankful that you drew these masterpieces now it's fine if people change their minds or, or don't like the drawing and ask me to take it down. I just think the random stranger supporting me when I have no idea what the fuck is going on is whack. And I would like to avoid that happening again, lol. I am at my OC to the list, so they get fucked. I might complain about my OC getting fucked. Peak Twitter right here. For the record, the person asked me to take it down nicely a few minutes ago so I don't so I don't have beef with them. And mind you, this is all 10 hours ago, so the request to take down the art was e issued at that time. So since then, a lot of time has already passed. And since then, uh, Gia has not made any sort of explanation regarding the whole situation. It's the comments and DMs from random people from, uh, from before they ask me uh, that I think they are shitty. People are really ignoring the fact that she submitted her OC to the post that said submit your OC to be drawn getting throat fucked paraphrase then deleted the comment after he already drew uh, drew it she asked him to take it down and he immediately he did immediately he didn't force it randomly people are very prone to believing people before they hear both sides because surely the inter uh, the internet stranger would never lie or twist things here's her uh, still uh, not explaining anything, just responding to random people about the whole situation. This was taken, at, once again, at the moment of making of this video, about an hour ago. Uh, I've taken this screenshot 40 minutes uh, after she made it. What the actual fuck? That is so fucked up. I'm sorry, Gia. It's so frustrating to see people don't have any boundaries or regard uh, for others. Hopefully they take art down or, or don't have it public. It was definitely a shock today. Uh, I'm sorry that this it happened, Gia. Stuff like this is not funny and definitely need to be taken seriously. I, it really isn't that hard to ask for consent first. I hope you're okay, right? It's always important to make sure of boundaries. Mind you, this was uh, done 10 hours ago, around the timeline where she asked the artist to take it down. She uses her profile. It's important to note that she has an 18 plus tag. And for all of you that are un unfamiliar with how VTubers do things, VTubers, especially the Japanese ones, and even more so today, uh, the English speaking ones, have specific art tags and they usually divide them um, 
uh, apart with safe for work uh, art tags and not safe for work art, art tags. Gia has both of them. Uh, one, once again, not, not safe for work art and one safe for work art. And for a lot of people in this sphere, in this hobby, that would mean she consents to not safe for art, not safe for art being made of her character. Of course, it's not really all that simple, as uh, th there are some limits some VTubers I impose on, on on art, and they always uh, have specific explanations on what art they are comfortable with, uh, what kind of uh, art and where it's supposed to be posted. All, all of that is usually explained away during during streams. I don't know if Gia explained it that in any sort of uh, any sort of uh, stream that she had beforehand, but considering she does have an 18 plus tag, a lot of people would assume she's okay with most anyone making not safe for art, not safe for art, uh, art for her. This might be kind of unrelated to uh, the current controversy going on with her with her statements. However, it's important to note where she's coming from with that sort of thing. It's possible she doesn't understand how all of this works, but that's for you to decide. I personally don't really know. I don't know her motivations in, in doing all of that. Once again, this is Brave Bengals thread and a, a person commenting on it. Gia, you commented on the original artist post, deleted your comment, and now he's getting attacked for no reason. You know what he, he was... He, he knew what he was getting into. The artist didn't deserve this uh, at all, and it just comes across as you wanting clout. Apol uh, apologize to them, and don't lie. Gia bl uh, blocked me when I was critical of her. I, uh, it just goes to show she knew exactly what she was doing. I just hate when people lie, especially when the artist did nothing wrong and now they're getting attacked. Yeah, I totally understand. It's the artist's fault. It isn't the artist's fault. GS supporters should not be targeting him. And that's pretty much how the situation is up to this point. It's been over a day since this whole thing happened, and Gia has not issued any sort of clarification. And I imagine upon seeing the original post where she complains about uh, people breaking her boundaries in regards to... Uh, Art, a lot of people will see this and they might go to the artist to uh, voice their complaints. Let's uh, let's put it like that. But before I end the video, what do you think? Did Gia orchestrate all of this in order to get sympathy out of people on Twitter? Was she just confused about the tags and how they're supposed to be used? Uh, or did she just get confused and, and change her mind after she submitted her OC into that thread where an artist drew her in a sexual situation? I, I leave that up to you and let me know what you think in the comments. For now, make sure to stay safe and stay off Twitter because it rots your brain. Take care.